Hello chums! Welcome back to our channel, where science and imagination collide. Today, we're going on a mad journey to the Pleistocene era. Buckle up, because we're talking about woolly mammoths, or rather, colossal biosciences' audacious effort to bring them back. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, aren't woolly mammoths long gone? Well, yes, they've been extinct for about 4,000 years. But the folks at Colossal Biosciences reckon they can change that. But before we dive into the sci-fi-esque world of de-extinction, let's get to know the star of the show, the Woolly Mammoth. The Woolly Mammoth roamed the Earth during the Pleistocene Epoch, which lasted from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. These giants were roughly the size of modern African elephants, with males weighing up to 6.8 tons and standing at 3.4 meters tall. Their most iconic feature, of course, was their shaggy fur, which insulated them against the chilly Arctic weather. They also sported huge, curved tusks that could reach up to 5 meters long. Alright, so now that we're acquainted with the woolly mammoth, let's talk about Colossal Biosciences' plans to bring them back. Colossal Biosciences, co-founded by none other than George Church and Ben Lamb, has set out on an ambitious project to bring back the woolly mammoth. Or at least a version of it. Now, don't get your knickers in a twist. We're not talking about Jurassic Park here. No one's found a mosquito encased in amber with mammoth blood. But what they have got is some bloody cool science. Here's the skinny. By editing the genome of the Asian elephant, the mammoth's closest living relative, the team aims to create a hybrid creature that has the traits of the woolly mammoth. This is done through a process called CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. CRISPR is essentially a pair of molecular scissors that can snip out specific genes and replace them with others. So, by taking genes associated with the mammoth's characteristics and inserting them into an Asian elephant's genome, they hope to create an elephant-mammoth hybrid that can survive in the Arctic. But why bring back the woolly mammoth, you ask? Well, the answer lies in something called rewilding. Rewilding is all about restoring ecosystems to their natural state, and the mammoth could play a crucial role in the Arctic tundra's health. You see, mammoths were what we call a keystone species in the Arctic. Their grazing habits maintained grasslands that, in turn, helped keep the permafrost chilly by reflecting sunlight. By stomping around and doing mammothy things, like knocking down trees and insulating the permafrost with their poop, yes, poop, they could actually help combat climate change. The idea is that reintroducing mammoths to the tundra could help restore the grasslands, thus reducing the release of greenhouse gases from the permafrost, which could help slow down global warming. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are plenty of skeptics, and quite rightly so. Critics argue that, instead of playing mad scientist, we should be focusing on conserving the species we've still got and restoring their habitats. And then there's the question of, well, where do we put them? Last time I checked, there weren't any to let signs in the Arctic. And what about the ethical implications? Just because we can, does it mean we should? Before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Will mammoth, bant, alpha moth, or whatever you want to call it, be happy and healthy? These are all valid questions, and Colossal Biosciences seems to be taking them on board. But only time will tell if their project will be a smashing success or a colossal… well, you get the picture. It's a fascinating concept though, isn't it? Bringing back an extinct creature to help save the planet. It's like a science fiction film, but with less alien invasions and more woolly mammoths. So what do you reckon? Is this a step in the right direction? Or are we mucking about with nature too much? And let's not forget the potential benefits for our endangered Asian elephant mates. By developing this technology, colossal biosciences might also contribute to conservation efforts for these majestic creatures. Also, it's worth noting that, if successful, this project would make the mammoth the first species to be brought back from extinction. 
it would truly be a colossal achievement. Pun absolutely intended. But let's not forget the potential slippery slope here. If we start bringing back extinct creatures, where do we draw the line? Dodos? Saber-toothed tigers? My hopes and dreams? You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Wow. <sighs> All right, it's time to wrap up our mammoth chat. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think de-extinction is the future? Or should we leave the past in the past? Drop a comment below and let's have a natter. And remember, whether it's reviving extinct creatures or recycling your rubbish, every little helps when it comes to saving our planet. That's it for today's video, mates. If you enjoyed our trip to the Pleistocene, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more sciencey goodness. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive.